Colonial Pipeline is working to be back online by the end of the week after a cyber attack Friday. News 12's Becca Birdsall talks with local cybersecurity professionals about how this happened. That's our top local story. One of the largest United States pipelines is still shut down three days after a ransom cyber attack. At the end of the day, no, no business can survive mass data loss. And so if Colonial is in that situation, they will have no choice but to pay the ransom. And for a company of this size, God only knows what they're asking in, ran in ransom. The Colonial Pipeline runs 5,500 miles, including through Lookout Mountain. Put another way, half of all fuel used on the East Coast runs through the Tennessee Valley. The company's latest statement Monday afternoon said restoring our network to normal operations is a process that requires the diligent remediation of our systems and this takes time. In response to the cybersecurity attack on our system, we proactively took certain systems offline to contain the threat, which temporarily halted all pipeline operations and affected some of our IT systems. To restore service, we must work to ensure that each of these systems can be brought back online safely. These are veteran hackers, uh, individuals that have been at this a long time and they know how to um, move throughout an environment relatively undetected and seamlessly and they understand uh, systems vastly. Known as dark side, the alleged hackers claim they aren't motivated by politics, only money. Most organizations are not doing enough of the right things to prevent uh, breaches like this. And unfortunately, if you haven't properly protected your backup infrastructure as an organization, then if you find yourself in one of these conditions, you, you are going to end up having to pay the ransom. Otherwise, your, your business will be put out of business. Our local cybersecurity professional said a key takeaway for local businesses from this breach should be to be prepared and have your shields up. Reporting in Chattanooga, Becca Birdsall, News 12 Now.